STEM STEAM National STEM STEAM Day on November 8th calls for full steam ahead. The day inspires kids to explore the pursuit of their interest in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. What's the difference? STEM represents science, technology, engineering, and math. STEAM represents STEM plus the arts, humanities, language arts, dance, drama, music, visual arts, design, and new media. We produce five amazing videos per week, so please click on the like button and subscribe to see future videos. Like, comment, share. Subscribe. STEM versus STEAM. The STEM to STEAM movement has been taking root over the last several years and is surging forward as a positive mode of action to truly meet the needs of a 21st century economy. STEM alone misses several key components that many employers, educators, and parents have voiced as critical for our children to thrive in the present and rapidly approaching future. This includes, but is not limited to, Providing mobile devices for students, sometimes in the forms of computer labs and a single device for each student. After school STEM clubs or programs. STEM curriculum where projects using STEM practices are embedded. BYOD initiatives, bring your own device. STEM days to encourage hands-on exploration within each of these disciplines. Robotics programs. What the research says. Recent research shows that STEAM is a promising approach to positively impacting student achievement and teacher efficiency. In a 2016 study, researchers investigated the impact of STEAM lessons on physical science learning in grades 3 to 5 in high-poverty elementary schools in an urban district. Findings indicated that students who received just nine hours of STEAM instruction made improvements in their science achievements. The main difference between STEM and STEAM is STEM explicitly focuses on scientific concepts. STEAM investigates the same concepts, but does this through inquiry and problem-based learning methods used in the creative process. How to use STEAM. There are actually six steps to creating a STEAM-centered classroom, no matter what area you teach. In each step, you're working through both the content and the art standard to address a central problem or essential question. STEAM is an integrated approach to learning which requires an intentional collection between standards, assessments, and lesson design implementation. True STEAM experiences involve two or more standards from science, technology, engineering, math, and the arts to be taught and assessed in and through each other. Inquiry, collaboration, and an emphasis on process-based learning are at the heart of the STEAM approach. Utilizing and leveraging the integrity of the arts themselves is essential in the authentic STEAM initiative. Explore the STEAM model. 
The pathway to STEAM is exciting, but can also be dangerous without an understanding of what STEAM truly means in both its intent and its implementation. Like its STEM predecessor, STEAM can stop short of its best manifestation without several core components. Focus. In this step, we're selecting an essential question to answer or a problem to solve. It's important to have a clear focus on both how this question or problem relates to the STEM and the arts content areas you've chosen. Detail. During the detail phase, you're looking for the elements that are contributing to the problem or question. When you're observing the correlations to other areas or why the problem exists, you begin to unearth a lot of key background information, skills, or processes that students already have to address the question. Discovery. Discovery is all about active research and intentional teaching. In this step, students are researching current solutions as well as what isn't working based on the solutions that already exist. As a teacher, you can use this step to both analyze the gaps your students may have in a skill or process and to teach those skills and processes explicitly. Application. This is where the fun happens. After students have dived deep into a problem or question and have analyzed current solutions as well as what still needs addressed, they can begin to create their own solution or composition to the problem. This is where they use the skills, processes, and knowledge that were taught in the discovery stage and put them to work. Presentation. Once students have created their solution or composition, it's time to share it. It's important that the work is presented for feedback and as a way for expression based on a student's own perspective surrounding the question or problem at hand. This is also an important opportunity to facilitate feedback and help students learn how to give and receive input. link. This step is what closes the loop. Students have a chance to reflect on the feedback that was shared and on their own process and skills. Based on that reflection, students are able to revise their work as needed and to produce an even better solution. Connecting STEAM and Literacy. STEAM's foundations lie in inquiry, critical thinking, and process-based learning. That is extremely important. The entire idea surrounding STEAM lessons and the STEAM approach is that it's based around really deep questioning. We want to start asking non-Googleable questions. Try saying that three times really fast. Inquiry, curiosity, being able to find solutions to a problem, and being creative in finding of the solutions is at the heart of this approach. This means that the humanities are woven into STEAM just like everything else. Using STEAM does not mean letting English language arts or social studies go to the wayside. You can use a STEAM lesson with those ideas because it's fundamentally built upon asking really good questions and then seeking solutions to the problems that are presented in those content areas. Visual thinking. Utilizing visual thinking is drawing upon the foundation of literacy itself. 
You can read a piece of art or music the same way you can read a piece of traditional text. Using thinking strategies are a terrific way to introduce these concepts to your students and to practice literacy across all content areas.